We're talking about Twitter this morning. Becoming the victim of a cyber attack last night, users were encouraged to send Bitcoin to an anonymous account by high-profile handles. This is it was including Barack Obama, Bill Gates, and Elon Musk. So joining me now is CTV's chief financial commentator, Patty Lovett-Reed. Good morning to you. Hi, Kelsey. Good morning. So when we look at shares in Twitter, they dropped shortly after this started happening. How damaging would you say from a business perspective can this be to a company? Can a hack like this be to a company? Well, certainly it is a knock on confidence. There's no question. Investors, they're not all that thrilled about it. Uh, what I did note this morning in pre-market activity with Twitter, it's down about six and a half percent. They are going to try to get to the bottom of this. Uh, so far, it appears that about $118,000 in Bitcoin was collected through this hack. But it's one of those things. It's not the first high-profile hack we've heard about. And in fact, it wasn't that long ago, the previous Bank of Canada governor, Stephen Polos, made reference to a vulnerability in Canada, and a cyber attack was one of them. And so what we will likely hear more about in the coming days are companies ramping up their cybersecurity so that they can ensure that there's going to be some protection, because that's what people want right now. I can absolutely guarantee you the very first first thing I did this morning was change the password on my Instagram, my Twitter, my LinkedIn. Um, I'm not sure it's going to protect me all that much, but I still think we all need to do it. Well, I'm glad you talked about preventative measures, Patty, because there are mm -hmm. so many scams out there. And I think a lot of us are very yes. well versed in some of the more common ones and the more obvious ones. But something like this caught people off guard because it was reputable accounts and reputable people that they trust who are very generous with their money talking about giving away all of this this cash so what could what advice would you have for people when they see something like this to protect themselves well to your point these were verified accounts these were legitimate people and so you think that these are high profile individuals and they're coming to you asking for money that's why they did get some money but i'm just not sure that anyone now we're all going to be on high alert we are not going to respond to something that comes via a social media platform without investigating it further if you're worried about being hacked you know we get a little complacent we don't change our passwords on a monthly basis then we make them really easy to hack and then we tell someone what our password is so you know we got to protect ourselves and be a little more diligent right now awesome patty thank you so much we'll be right back okay Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.